there is still a possibility for us to take our life expectancy slightly higher. And that is why the president and those of us in government today had identified universal health coverage as a big component of how we can take Kenya forward and how we can save loss of life unnecessarily. And that is why it is very important, even at this point in time, for all of us to realize that we need to be careful about the place where we are, not just as a country, but as the entire globe. We have a very serious pandemic in our midst, and we shouldn't take the advice of our health professionals lightly or for granted. I am asking that every Kenyan, wherever they are, they must take the guidelines that have been given on the wearing of masks, on ensuring that we keep social distancing, on avoiding unnecessary travel, on avoiding unnecessary crowded areas, seriously, we should. And as every Kenyan is being asked to do so, the rest of us who are leaders must equally get our priorities right. And I say so because we are in the middle of a pandemic, a health pandemic that has also created a very serious financial crisis. To be able to deal with the financial crisis and the health pandemic, our focus should be on how to manage and deal effectively with the challenge of the health pandemic. To be able to deal effectively with the health pandemic, there is no other place to start other than making sure that our healthcare workers are properly equipped with personal protective equipments and they are paid and their allowances taken care of and all the issues they have raised addressed. We have asked the ministry to, Im with immediate effect, work with the leadership of doctors, nurses, clinical officers, and all our healthcare workers so that we can address the issues they have raised as the first step and a priority step in ensuring that we deal with the health pandemic, which will give us the opportunity to also deal with the financial crisis. We must get those priorities in that order. Our healthcare workers come first and their issues and their concerns because they are the only frontline generals we have in dealing with a pandemic, which will then give us an opportunity to deal with a financial crisis. I am also asking county governments. All county governors must prioritize issues to do with doctors, nurses, clinical officers, their concerns, their salaries, their personal protective equipments should take precedence and priority over any other consideration until we are through with the pandemic. Therefore, as we ask the healthcare professionals to engage with us, they too understand where we are. And therefore, it is important at this point in time that all of us are focused in the correct priorities. Ya muhimu kwa sasa ni kuhakikisha kwamba yale mahitaji, maswala wa madaktari na nurses na clinical officers wanatuuliza tunayashughulikia kwanza kabla hatujashughulikia mambo yale mengine kama serikali ya kitaifa 
tumesema ya kwamba hata ile PPEs ambazo ziko ambazo bado ziko na shida ya investigation zitolewe wakati hata investigation inaendelea ndio madaktari waweze kupata personal protective equipments they can be able to take their place in making sure that Kenyans who have con uh, contracted covid-19 are attended to as we deal with all the other issues that come with the situation we are in i think it is reckless and it is irresponsible for anybody to say that we wait for political processes so that we can find the money to address the pandemic that we are in i think that is putting the cut before the horse let us sort out the pandemic the political processes will follow bishop mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba tunawashukuru kwa mwongozo wenu kama kanisa na sisi kama serikali tunawasikiza kwa makini tukijua ya kwamba nyinyi ni washirika wa kujitolea in the partnership between the church and the state and we will continue to work together and general as a christian as a military man as a father and a farmer and a, and a true kenyan patriot was a great example of the blend between the state and the church na kwa hivyo on my behalf again and behalf of my family to the family of general we are truly remorseful for the loss of your dad of your father and of this great kenyan patriot that we all adored as a father figure kwa hivyo asanteni sana na kwa watu wote wa kericho eh, poleni